Hi, this is Joey Fish, and this is what's in my bag. Today we went to Human Head Records. Well, I went to Human Head, and I did some shopping, and I got some stuff that I'm going to show you and talk about a little bit of why I got it and see, see maybe maybe teach you a little something, or maybe I'll learn something myself in the comments if that ever makes it that far. Um, I'll save this one for last because that was the last one I picked up. Um, let's start with this one. Uh, this is Pearl. This is Janis Joplin record. I actually have uh, 10 inches that are the Pearl Sessions, and it's actually her working on these songs over and over and over again. There's like 10 takes of Bobby McGee, pretty much. But I don't have the actual record. <laughs> so this is the actual Pearl record with Bobby McGee and uh, My Baby and a bunch of, it's pretty much her quintessential Janis Joplin record, and it was only $8. Um, this one, this is on the pricier side. I, 15 was the most I spent today. And it, yeah, this is the only record I spent 15 bucks on. Uh, this is Talking Heads, Stop Making Sense. I need to catch up on my Talking Heads. I only have like one or two of the records and not very good ones. Uh, this is probably the best one. It has Psycho Killer, Once in a Lifetime, uh, Burning Down the House. Like, it's, this is pretty much the Talking Heads record. It's, I don't need to tell you guys that. Uh, next, I picked this one up in the in the used bin. This is a five dollar guy. Um, I was just talking about this last night. How I love the fact that I still haven't heard every Jimi Hendrix song out there. And I found this. I don't even know what this is. The Cry of Love by Jimi Hendrix. Five bucks, and it's beat up, but the record seems fine. I played it a little bit there, but it has it has Angel on here. I do not and Into the Storm. I don't really recognize many of the other songs, so. Kind of excited to dig into this one. Uh, Eek a Mouse. Switch it up. Got some reggae. Uh, my good friend Mike Levine, his brother Trip, is really into Eek a Mouse. I wouldn't have known who this guy was if it wasn't for them. Um, and he's just really cool um, 80s uh, reggae that sounds, it's timeless. It really sounds timeless. And I believe he's, he's uh, like New Jersey somehow. I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know much about him. But it does say that it was it was uh, that the the label was based in Jersey, so I'm um, and these guys that turned me on to him are from Jersey, so. I don't know. But it's really good. I listened to some of this at the store, and it was really cool. I can't wait to check that one out either. Uh, this one I've been digging in. Uh, I've been building up my Sonic Youth collection. They did a bunch of these weird things. Um, they're like these, which I'm sure many people know about, know a lot more than I do, but they did all these German like records, and I think they recorded them in Germany too. And it's very just experimental, psyche noise. It's really cool, really good to put on late at night, if you know what I mean. Um, this one I got for somebody else, because I already have it. Uh, this is Viet Cong, uh, their self-titled, it was their second record. They had to change their name, because obviously the, the name was somewhat offensive. I actually think these will be worth money someday. I don't. I don't know. I don't really care. It's still a pretty cool record. Um, so I'm gonna give it to a friend of mine, um, who I might see tonight. And again, it was only ten bucks. I was surprised it was only ten bucks, so I picked it up. Um, again, building on my collection of artists, missing missing pieces. I got David Bowie's pinups. Um, it's got See Emily Play, which is interesting. That's a that's actually a. Um, a a Pink Floyd song that uh, Sid Barrett wrote, um, so I'm, I, I don't know if I'm familiar with his take on it, so I'm interested to hear that. None of these songs really stick out to me, but it's David Bowie and I don't have this record and it was very affordable, so I picked it up. And then this one, this last one I got, I picked up Kraftwerk, Trans Europe Express. Um, I have a couple Kraftwerk albums, but I don't have this one. And it was interesting because while I was listening to record, they were actually playing this in the store. And I was listening, and I was like, this has got to be Kraftwerk. But it sounded really, it was like, you know, the B-side. So it, it was um, it was a lot of um, weird stuff. Like, it, I didn't recognize, I didn't hear Trans Europe Express. Obviously, I know that song. But some of the deeper cuts were really weird. And, and I actually asked the guy um, uh, if that's what he was playing. And he said yes. And he pulled it off the record player and gave it to me for five bucks. So I'm pretty excited about this one, too, because what I heard in the store was really cool. Um, so that's all I got today. A little variety of things. Some new, some old, mostly old. Um, and yeah, uh, looking forward to giving one to my friend and adding the rest to the collection. And nothing too wild, but some, well, there's some crazy stuff in there. But um, yeah, check out some of those artists if you get a chance.